quick note before I start this, uh, I guess, little trigger warning. There uh, maybe de- or there are depictions of blood and light nudity, and there's also going to be vent art and maybe some content that might be otherwise distressing to some people. So just so you know that before you watch this. Have fun! Well, hello, I guess. I'm really unsure of what I'm supposed to say in this, but maybe I'll delete this take. But who knows? Anyways, here I am showing my sketchbook. This is the outside. I made that afterwards. It used to be in like a leather envelope. Not envelope, but like a leather wrap, whatever it's called. But then I made a new one because I thought the leather one was nice and I could reuse it for a different one. What? I don't know, it's a bit crusty now, the the new cover, because I'm not, uh, as you can probably tell, a good cover maker, because I've never done it. And I put some stickers on it that I printed with a sticker printer. I think I'm going to show that here, maybe. Who's to say? I started this book in 2020, as you can see in the bottom, and there's the printer. It's like a... F- little thing it was like 30 bucks on Amazon um no 30 euros I guess because I'm from the place where you pay in euros um anyways see yeah, I'm showing the printer like it's a fucking product review but this printer is pretty nice for what it's worth it makes black and white stickers on white and um transparent paper or whatever you buy the refills for also there's gonna be like little sections with with black light because the book has some pages that look pretty cool i think in black light and the cover is one of them um i'm sorry for the awful lighting here and my bad cuts as you can tell i'm not not a not a YouTuber, not a professional. And this is the first page. This I reworked probably about a billion times because it, I don't know, didn't like it. Just added colors and whatever. It's pretty pr- all over the place. I kind of wanted to take off the pressure at first, just put some song lyrics and some funny imagery. I don't know. It's not anything deep. I'm moving on. There's a bit of Marble Hornets fan art-ish and a creepy ass flower. I don't know why I drew that. Um, also more song lyrics. There's a sticker from my girlfriend's band. Also shout out to her for setting up this whole recording thing and borrowing me her fancy ass microphone. Um, skipping to the next page, I drew a goat because I found out that the pentagram is meant to represent a goat, so I wanted to see if that's true. And it is. There's some, I used some markers that a friend brought me from her vacation and they're really cool under black light. They have like outlines by themselves. Here is a page where I put a bunch of tape and then drew over it with a white... I think it was a white Posca, but I'm not sure. It's just uh, electrical tape and some cheap, colorful, whatever tape. Here I put some some uh, ripped up book pages from a book that my mom wanted to toss out. There's habit fan art. I kind of like this one, I guess, and more of the book stuff. So I ignore the text in the back. It's just some German, <laughs> weird German novel about some girls in a church or something. I don't know. There's Tim with some mirror foil, not foil, but like paper. More habit. And I'm just noticing that this microphone is probably way too high quality and it's recording my gross spit and saliva sounds and I'm gonna hate it. 
But there's have it with watercolor in the background. There's more, um, more book pages, classic, everything is fine. Some eyes with white Posker and some black marker. I used a lot of black marker in this book. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I kind of liked how they turned out. There's a sticker I printed from one of my artworks I did digitally. I printed it with the same little printer thingy that I showed earlier. And there's an Alex, completely black marker with white Posca. Everything is fine. I did that with like a like a stencil I made myself and some glue and some foil. And this is where I start my 30 days. What what was it? I don't remember what it was called. Like October or something. Marble Hornets October challenge drawing thing. You can see the number in the upper right corner, the day, and then the the prompt. It's nothing nothing crazy. Just a lot of black marker and white Posca and black. I, f I want to say pen, but I'm not sure. And more black light here, because I think it's kind of cool. This more drawing my mom saw, and she said, she said that uh, she asked me if that was Trump, and I felt personally offended by that. This is Alex, as you can tell, probably if you're in in the know. This one I like, but the font is crooked. So moving on, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what to say to these because I'm kind of over them <laughs> already. <laughs> I'm pretty old. Like I said, I started this in 2020 and I just recently finished. So this is like two years old, maybe by now. This one I hate. This one I like, kind of. Yeah, it's probably probably one of my faves of the challenge thingy. Along with this one. That one's pretty cool. But I didn't have my proper markers, so it's kind of looking kind of scribbled all over the place. I think this one... Um, yeah, I don't know what to say to them, because they're... I think they're pretty self-explanatory if you're a bit... A bit in the Marble Hornets fandom, I guess. As I am. Um, more of the boys. <clears throat> this one I absolutely despise, so I'm moving on really quickly. This one's fun, like drawing wise, I like it, but the concept is I don't know concept's not that not that crazy <laughs> and the the shame of the first page before that's still lurking through this one I like just because of the composition. it's nothing nothing crazy artistically, but like how it, how it's framed, I guess. This one I'm not sure about. I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> this one's cool, I think. Overall, I think the a lot of heavy black marker thing I could do better now, but it's a cool, cool concept, and I like that they're all kind of most of them go together cohesively, because I use the same the same uh, materials for all of them. This one's pretty boring. This one's cute, but I don't like how I've drawn it. <laughs> this one's kind of going out of out of order because there's highlighter in there, so I'm showing it in black light too. Just the highlighter looks really cool. I love how highlighter looks on a black light. Or is it blue light? It's black light, I think. I'm not sure. It's UV light. This one is cool, I guess. So is this one. I like them. I mean, as much as I, I'm capable of liking my own art, I'm pretty critical, I guess. This one I don't like, but I think it's just because it's so far from my usual style. This one I hate. All of it, not all of it, but the, the the bottle is too small and just I don't know. I don't like how it looks. This one I love though. It's probably one of my favorites from the whole 
the whole thing. Oh, I sound I sound really <laughs> full of myself if I'm saying every saying second one I like. Anyways, I think maybe it's good for me because I struggle with appreciating my own art. <laughs> and that's the end of my 30, 31 days. It is, I think I said 30 days earlier. And this is crazy bright under UV light. that was when I went back to experimenting a bit because this book is actually a lot of me experimenting with different media with different like, kind of collage-y things there's Jeff from Everyman Hybrid who I like who didn't deserve all the shit that happened to him <laughs> this is I don't like it kind of glow is cool but it's just me trying stuff and it's not anything really but I really, I, I guess I really love the gloves because I'm showing it off so much. This one's one of my OCs. It's Kyle. Kyle is a cat boy. <laughs> and this looks so cool in the black light, I think. It's a lot of highlighters just layered on top. There's one my stepmom really loves for some reason. She wanted me to paint it on a big canvas and now it's hanging in her... I don't know um, what happened there. It's hanging in her her hallway. That's another one of my OCs. It's Travis. Travis is a raccoon. And he has problems with a tiger. That's why the tiger stripes are there. This one I hate because that's why I'm moving on so fast. And he is awful pack was so cool there's but I don't like the art either and now I'm showing off some color changing temperature whatever it's like liquid crystal something something it's the same stuff they put in mood rings and I got some of it and used it for painting I think I should revisit that idea because it's not really executed well but I think it's so cool to see how it changes color even though you're not really able to see it in this video. Here I am drawing Pokemon. I love this Pokemon a lot. It's so cool. And the foil I got just really inspired me to draw it. And more black light. More glowing highlighter. Here's Brian. This is just it was kind of a mindless thing and I think I added the text later. This I drew, I remember I drew it on New Year's Eve when I was with my girlfriend. There is another one of my OCs, it's Alex. Alex is a ram. And there's a digital drawing of Alex I did print it out. And there's my favorite boy, Simon, who's another OC. He's an otter man and a detective and I love him. And this paper that I used, it's like some paper with petals in it. It looks so cool under the black light. I don't know why, though. There's another sticker of digital art I made. There's Travis and Leo, another OC. Leo is a magpie. And he's very tragic. And they're in love. Very, very deep. Um, This is Vent-ish kind of I guess I'm not sure and song lyrics from a song that's way too old <laughs> um yeah but I like how the foil looks there's more Travis and Leo and more song lyrics I think this is from a musical I think it's from 36 questions or something the song from that there's Simon again with more glittery shiny stuff and some old like really old photos photo stripes I don't know what they're called but I don't like the drawing I like the photo thingies though they're pretty cool and more lyrics because I just love lyrics and I'm not good with words here's Zagreus this is when I played Hades which I well, I always wanted to play, but never did because I thought I was going to be too bad for it. But now I'm, I've played it through and I love it. This I hate. It's vent art, but it's awful. I hate it. 
move on please please move on thank you um this just doodles and lyrics and colors and looks cool on the black light i guess there's talon who's uh the tiger that travis has problems with and there's leo and they're fighting kyle again with his cool pink stripe in his hair <laughs> more lyrics i think this is from mother mother family i guess i thought it looked cool <laughs> under black light when I edited this video, here's uh, me cutting off some parts. I'm sorry, this looks awful how I cut it, but there's a uh, personal information on there. So, but I still want to show the drawing of Travis. Here's me. I guess this is kind of a kind of a self-portrait vent y kind of thing with some mirror shards that I bought at the dollar store. Some color tape, more vent art. This one I love. I found a song that I really connected with. Um, yeah, very, very personal, I guess. And looking cool and under black light and the UV light again. There's a uh, more, I used some pictures of me as reference anyways. Um, yeah, just ignore that. There's this page that I used as a filler kind of because the next one is a double page and didn't want it to, to bleed through. This is uh, Simon and Dominic, two of my OCs. Simon and Dominic used to be best friends, but now their relationship is pretty, pretty complicated, I'd say. And this is inspired by, is it We Can Wield a Fire by Otto Hart, I think is the song that I used. Great song, by the way. Auto Heart, great band. Love them. Love their songs. Their music is very good. That's Simon, that's Dominic, pointing at them for, I don't know, for you, I guess. <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm petting Simon. Comfort him. Um, so I drew using more of my own pictures as reference, but it doesn't really look like me. I don't look that cool. Um. Yeah, there's more personal venti stuff. and I'm trying to censor it as best as I can, but I'm very bad at it. But cool, UV light. Yay. I think the song, sorry, song <laughs> lyrics, I'm sorry, is from a front bottom song. This one I slowed down because I skipped past it so fast in the, <laughs> in the, in the when I first recorded this. So don't... Don't be surprised, <laughs> the weird movements. Um, then there's this part. I really like this page, I think. I think it's very cool. It's very, it pops. I like the collage effect of the upper page. And the song's pretty cool too. More Travis and Leo, just like the last page. Um, there's this weird flap, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. This page took so long because I had a whole different concept and I hated it so much and I painted all over it. That's why it looks really, I don't know, it looks a bit weird. This one's Simon and Dominic again. Very angsty, deep stuff here. And I used some foil that my girlfriend got me for Christmas or my birthday, I'm not sure. The song is Lovely Bit of Water. It's more Simon because I'm obsessed with him. More glitter stuff and uh, another, I think this is Wolf Heart or Wolf Man, Wolf Man by the Front Bottoms or something. The song. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with remembering song names. More of the foil my girlfriend got me and more collage elements. More Simon and Dominic. I guess Ghost, Ghost Dominic, I guess. This is very personal. I, I don't know. This is just me dealing with some emotions. My personal therapy, I guess. And some self-portraits I drew that I printed out. Oh, and there, skip the page. No, never mind. Um, I printed out this, <laughs> this Tumblr post because I thought it was very accurate. 
because Simon is kind of my just like a not a self insert necessarily, but well, you can read <laughs> what it says on the pages. I'm sure you'll get it. Here I printed the lyrics that I used as inspiration for the next page. Simon again, of course. I think it's going to be a lot of Simon. Or maybe it's almost over. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. This is Dana and Marcus. And uh, two of my other OCs. Uh, Wolf, Wolfman and Dear Woman. Dear Lady. And uh, I guess... <laughs> warning for nudity but it's probably too late now um yeah here is here's a big collage of really old art from tim of tim marble hornet's art that i just kind of collected and then added some some stamps and some doodles and whatever and some little not stickers but uh, i don't know this one i drew in school and these two are their watercolor. It's a stamp I made myself. The mask and the the X, that circle with the X through it, made them, made them myself. With linoleum or whatever it's called, like linoleum print, whatever. Same thing with with more Marble Hornet stuff. A lot of Brian and Tim and there's an Alex too. I think I did some of these in school. There's one more with watercolor. These I did in school. Pretty recently, actually. And those I don't remember when I did them. And yeah, there's the last one with a lot of cuts because I was trying to cut my face out of it from the mirror. Um, I'm sorry about that. Just a bunch of stuff that fitted together aesthetically and some Dana drawings because I love Dana. And here's another self-portrait-ish kind of thing. F some crazy colors. I think I used... Uh, th it, this is inspired by a song. I think it's called Everything's Going Great or something. And the album art has these colors in it. And I was just listening to that song and drawing this. It looks really cool under black light. I'm sure I'm I'm close to the end now. And I feel like I'm going to hate this recording and maybe to another one. But who's to say? Yeah, here is... <laughs> because my girlfriend forced me to watch The Witcher. Um, there's some <laughs> art of that, that bard guy. Um, Jaskier or whatever. I We watch it in German. So his name is uh, Rittersport in that. No, it's not. I know it's not. But I love saying that because it... No, it's my friends. And there's a heart for all of you who watched through this video because I really appreciate every single one. Goodbye. Hope you liked it.